this. I know. That's, that's amazing. I saw that today and I wow. thought immediately to talk to you about it. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Build From Bricks. I'm Brian. And I'm Drew. And today we are talking Lego Ninjago. Yeah. This, this set is... I can't wait. This set is the... Looks like to be the third largest Lego set. 4,867 pieces. It's this three-level monstrosity. It's amazing. And so we're going to take a look at some of the pieces of this and some of the things that we think look really cool and talk about it right now. So let's cut to this thing and show them what we got. I'm really excited about this coming out September 1st and I can't wait, but let's take a look at some of this. Yeah, I didn't even hear anything about that. And the set, September 1st is awfully close too. I know. That. So, all right, so what, three, four levels? Three, three levels. Three levels. There is, but it looks like here we have a little bridge over a fishing stream. Yeah. We have some people down there. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, it could be a, like, one of those. Oh, no. Not sure what's down there because we have garden. Been, but on the second but floor then there's also look at these speakers and a DJ booth. DJ booth. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we also have a comic book shop up here. Oh, awesome! I heard there's a fashion store up there as well. That's on the third level. It looks like. Yeah. And <laughs> we got there's some lot of hidden elements in here. Yeah. I like the tree coming out. There's like a cherry blossom because that's a popular tree down there. Yeah. There's also some stuff on the roof. There's a brick built puffer fish up there. There is, and then there's also a, a, a another blue brick fish. built yeah blue brick fish built blue fish, and then. This guy looks like he has a flaming fish weapon that he's coming, you know. Oh yeah, and the blue fish. There's yeah. not, I've never seen a blue fish before. They've always been, there's a sand green, there's a gray, there's an orange. I've never seen blue, so it looks like a new color. Oh, that would be perfect to put into your uh, aquarium. Aquarium, exactly. Here's some close-ups. Right. Oh, there's a couple of them that comes with it, so. Oh, look at that, there's a green. I love the water, look, look at the water in that. The water's amazing. It yeah. almost looks like there's something under there. I don't know if that's just the camera or if there's actually something hidden under the water element. It could but, be the reflection of this guy, but it, if it, it was be, something under, it'd be neat. It's like a nice um, translucent color, and I like the way they did the the deck right there, the dock right there, yeah. with the the sideways look like logs. Oh, yeah. That looks like a new. I wonder if those are new pieces too. Little spots for lily pads. We got a frog there, and yeah. we got a boat. You know, this this is actually a boat. Right oh yeah, there. there's a boat right there, and then you got some. I don't know the names of these people, so forgive me for that, because I don't know a ton of the names in Jago. I know the main guys are Kai and Lloyd and. Uh, Zane, Zane and, yeah. and Lord Garmadon and Sensei Wu. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm not familiar. Over here, you can't see it well. In this picture, is on the right side of this picture. You see, there's a this is an elevator. Hmm. So the minifigure sits there on those gold pieces, and then and they rise up to the different levels. Yeah. I was thinking of putting. I've already looked at this part before. I saw this a little bit earlier, and I. I was thinking of putting a piece of glass in there just to get them. Oh, that'd be like, cool. Make it enclosed. Yeah, glass enclosed. Yeah, because there was space. If there's well, like you can put it right here. I think it's just oh, outside. Okay. Yep. So there's the box front. Yeah. So it's got to be around the back. Yeah, I think it's inside. The whole thing's exactly. enclosed, so it's not like a play like it's a playable set, but it's openable. It's openable yeah. like the. Oh, neat. So that that picture that we were just looking at, uh, where the boat that boat actually comes in down at the bottom. It looks there, like a tunnel. A tunnel. And it probably brings the fresh crab to the, the crab restaurant, which we'll see later. Yeah, oh, look at this. So we house. have some people sitting down. Nice picture on the wall. There's a frog, for some reason, hanging out at the tea, at the table as she has some tea in the restaurant here. Yeah. And I don't know what's behind there. It's some green blob behind What is that? Uh, maybe it's some sort of type of plant or... Oh, it's a bonsai. Is that a bonsai tree? That's awesome, if that's oh, what it is. That'd be neat. I heard there was bonsai somewhere in here. Oh, okay, cool. So here's a close-up oh. of the elevator. And you can see they have little platforms to get off on each level. Right. And they're using basically like prison doors. It's kind of funny. You could. I'm surprised that you did that because I wouldn't want to walk on that. I wouldn't no. want to be on this elevator either, really. No, this ele elevator needs needs a little bit of upgrade. But there. you know what? If you actually did put took off these two little curved pieces that are on the elevator next to the, on the right and left side of her, you could probably put some walls up. Hmm. And, and yeah, still be able to put the person one, in and out. Nice, yeah, yeah, I might do that just to make it. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless it looks like that in the movie. Hmm. Next we have, this is this robot thing, I don't know, it's like a cleaning sweep, I think his name is Sweep, don't know much about him because it's something in the movie, but this is like a little cleaning closet or something here, not quite sure what that is. Next we have, oh, this is a cash dispensing ATM, so you can fit up to 15 notes, it comes with 15 notes and it actually will dispense 13. up to 13 of them, yep. I think it fits 15 though, I thought I read somewhere, mm -hmm. but I like that Trillo bite. Yeah. There's really cool, a lot of cool detail. I like this. Look at this guy's shirt with His the fish awesome. on it. Yeah, that's a new printed piece as well. Yeah, and it's all written in Japanese there. So Trillabyte Bank, and then it's written in Jap some sort of Japanese writing up there. Next we have. Well, is Trillabyte is that the bank or is that some other? Because it looks like there's. And if you go to the next when we go to the next page here, there's a whole bunch of little signs like. Oh, okay. They're almost Just like advertising. Advertising, yeah. 
Yeah, I can't tell what the outs what this is supposed to be here. It's just a poster. Looks like if you hit this, this flips up. Oh, sorry. Oh. We're touching on it. <laughs> you don't yeah. see that. This could be different posters that they yeah. put up. Is this the con there's a comic book shop? Yeah, so this he, could he did be say the movie posters are there's four interchangeable movie posters. Yeah, so that might be what this is we're looking yeah. at here. Really, I'm still amazed by this. And over here, you can see on the right side of the picture, you get this really cool decorative orange. Just it looks like a decorative thing, but behind that, there's a little crab. Yep. I'm guessing that could be the crab. There's a crab grilling station. Oh, yeah. That is not this. This here we're looking at now is the fashion shop. It looks like they have a lot of hats. You get some in the center, you have some traditional Japanese style hats, and then those other hats laid out in the store. You can see that on the shelves all around the store. Looks like there's a skateboard, and there's a, there's a guitar. A guitar, and there's a golden frog. Yeah, and there's seems like frogs everywhere. <clears throat> oh, here's ah. the crab grilling station. I so, do it. so from what I read on this, you put in a fresh crab, and then you turn the lever, and out comes a cooked crab. <laughs> so you can see they have a new color crab there as well. I don't know if there was a tan crab before, but apparently that's the cooked crab, and that's the one going in. Okay. So is there some sort of mechanisms? There must be some sort of technique mechanisms that let you rotate this, and you put in one, and comes out the other. That is amazing. Like, that's awesome, and it, it's almost like a little sushi bar where this is actually just a crab bar here. Yeah. And you can see on the left side of the picture, there's the knob to turn it. So that's probably like a little, that's really cool. Yep. And looks, looks like one of those, the, the hacksaw um, tool there. There is a little buzzsaw, buzzsaw for something and, and a, a hammer, hammer and, and a... And smashing them and it looks like a crowbar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they're doing with that. Maybe you smash it's, a crab with it. It's going to be tough, tough crabs. <laughs> Hard shell, nice soft shell. Yeah. Oh, wow. and what is this? Is this the comic book store? Uh, I think so. And these are little figurines or something, this guy's... And they're probably figurines of the Ninjago characters, because these are the different colors of the Ninjago characters. Yeah, and here's some shelves with some comic books on it. I like the details behind them of the windows. It's the, you know, very authentic Japanese feel back there. Yeah. That looks really... I, that's, that's I'm just cool. impressed by everything here. Oh, it looks like the sushi. Is this a sushi bar? Oh. I'm not sure. It's a little restaurant of some sorts, and they're eating something. Doesn't quite look like sushi to me. Well, I mean, they're, they're round. Um, I don't know what that's so supposed to be. Could be a, I'm not looking at any description of these, but just looking at yeah. this. I don't know what that is. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe... What's the next picture? Let's see what we got next. Ah, oh, so it is, it is sushi. It doesn't look... And that's awesome. It's a, it's, a, it's a sushi conveyor belt. And some restaurants do have... I don't know if you've ever seen one. There's one on the Natick Mall. I don't think their sushi is very good. But they do have these places where the sushi rotates around. You pick what you want and you pay for it. They see what color plate you have. Usually each plate is a different price. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Brian and sushi. He's he's got sushi down. Yeah, but those look like um, <laughs> these are some nigiri salmon right here. If you didn't know, okay. that's supposed to be. And these, I don't know what that's supposed to be. All right, they're just brick built sushi. Yeah. I, it would have been cool if they incorporated. There's a sushi piece that came with the Lego friend sets. Mm. Oh. And there is also no. There's no other sushi pieces. So they're trying to do some sort of brick built thing. I don't know what these white pieces are supposed to represent or that green big. I mean, it doesn't look like anything to me, sushi related. These yeah. do. That looks. And that's oh, yeah. a really big piece of salmon. That is. That is. <laughs> it's as big yeah. as his head. It's bigger than his head. <laughs> that, that is big. And this light. This must be the light. The in oh. the center. There's an orange light. And then you get a sliding screen door back yeah, there. Yeah. Those, those are shoji those, screens. They're yeah, called. Okay. And that's probably, if it's what it is, it could be what's called a tatami room. You sit in there, you take your shoes off, and you sit down on the floor and you eat. That could be a private... Oh, nice. Either that or it's part of something else. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. And here we have a boat with a fishmonger. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Is that Lloyd? Is that... I don't know the names of these people. I'm sorry. He's not one of the Ninjago. I think he's just a NPC. Some sort of, yeah, he's an NPC. <laughs> NPC. <a> Non-playable <laughs> yeah. character. He's got a blue fish, though. And I'm yeah. almost positive that's a new color. Yeah. One. All right, so, so now... So now we can see a little bit of detail here. It's modular, so... Yeah, this is yeah. modular. So every level, even though it's an enclosed building, every level is you can remove you can remove the things and you can see inside and play with it. For me, it's going in the city somewhere. Probably going behind the fish mart, the fish village, fishing village that comes out in September. It's probably going to be because I was relocating some stuff in my city and I cleared up some space behind the where the fishing village is going. This would probably be a good fit for that. It, yeah, you're, you're gonna have everything like completely rearranged multiple times over. I think I keep when doing you find it. things that this fits there and that looks good. It's a great there. thing about Lego. Yeah, can't do that in the real city. No, you can't. But if I want to move my '50s diner somewhere yeah. else, I can pick it up and plop it somewhere else. There you go. What else we got anymore? And then oh. here's some close-ups of the bottom level. You can see I love the bridge over the river Kwai. Oh. And then you have some lily pad elements there, and you get some decorative um, palms. 
Such as the lily pad element looks like the the, the, the piece for the artist. It does, only green. Only really green, yeah. It does, and so then you have just thing. some like random pieces around, and there's some people yeah. shopping about. There's lots of detail, lots of great architecture styles in here. I love the look of it. The banners everywhere, it's, this, they didn't leave anything unturned. No. And here we have a rooftop. This is the rooftop. Up there is where the sushi element, sushi restaurant was. Looks like there's some cop up there. I don't know what she's up to. And this lady looks like she's standing on the tables. I don't know what is going on up there. Or on the edge of the building. What is yeah. she doing up there? No idea. And it looks at, let's see all these elements here of... Um, so there's some swords. swords. Those are swords that yeah. they're using for just a decorative element on the top of this building. And that's that sliding room we were talking about again, right there, behind yeah. the restaurant. Now, those Lego pieces are stickers. Those are Lego pieces. Those are oh. quarter rounds. They have one by one. I don't know what you call that one. Yeah. But they do have those now. Oh. I start to see those more and more. Okay. If you know what we're talking about, in the center of this picture is a circular, there's a tower, this green tower with a circle in the middle, and on, the, on all four corners are these red, like pizza slices almost. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to name them pizza slices. Sure. That, that's my name that's, for them. That's about the size. Pizza slice tiles. Pizza slice tiles. There you go. That's what I name it. <laughs> and I love the look of the roof too. The black roof um, and just how they have it like, you know, one of the, I want to say it's like one of the Shogun's Pagodas or whatever. They, yeah. Probably, I don't know if I got the names right or whatever, but that's what that's what I think. And I'm probably not, not right from watching too many movies. So, <laughs> But that that is the Ninjago City mo I don't know, wait, modular. This thing is... Yeah, yeah. 4,867 pieces and 299 bucks is a really good price. That's less than, that's a really good price. That is a really good price for that many pieces and that much playability. And, and the size of it, 16 minifigs. 16 minifigs. Yeah. 16 minifigs includes all of the typical Ninjago. And I guess some of them are dressed in high, I was reading some of them are dressed in high, high school um, outfits. So there's different, okay. there's different printings for some of them because they're not just dressed up in their ninja gear. Sure. So I am... I can't wait for this thing. I mean, it's amazing. I'm thinking of doing where we do a... We'll have to do it in stages, but building part of this a little bit at a time each week until the whole thing's built. Oh, that would be cool. So we can build... I don't know if we'll do one floor at a time, or even one, depending on how big... Each floor is probably, you know, a thousand pieces or so, so we could do a section of a floor at a time and just leave it here on the table, and each week we'll come and finish another level. We'll do some time lapse. Maybe you add some little stop motion in there, which is always fun. Yeah, we could do that. That's for a future episode, but we gotta wait till September first, or maybe August fifteenth, if they do a VIP. I've heard there could be a VIP for August of this, and not no clue if that's true or not. But it would be amazing. And some of the other Ninjago sets out there actually look really cool. I think they'd all fit well to this. It does. It makes me want to change the city around in one section of it, make it a Chinatown, or or in this case, a Japan town, because it's not. This is Japanese, not Chinese. But it would be cool to have that section. I mean, I'm always open to changing the city. I, you know, I have the sea cow. I have different stuff in there. But it doesn't mean I can't change it and take the Ninjago and put that in the forest. Someone mentioned putting it in the forest. I might do that. Yeah, that Just because it frees up an area for, let's put this in. Because this is, I, mean, I like it a lot. Right. And so... It's cool. I, I like it. He's very excited about it. As soon as I saw this, I was yeah. like, I was I was sending a message to my some of my friends at the Lego store that work there. And I'm like, I just put exclamation, exclamation, because I didn't know what to say. I'm like, this thing's just really cool. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm excited. Hope you're excited about this. I mean, Drew, I think is. I don't know. If he'll buy his own, but he'll probably be happily help to I'll, build mine. I'll happily help Brian build his. I'm definitely getting it. As long as <laughs> it, you know, in September or whenever it comes out, I can't wait. Yeah, I, I reserve mine for all Marvel superheroes and stuff yeah, like that. He sticks that. to that. I, the I reason I do one. Marvel stuff is because I like taking. Probably Marvel is I like the figures. And I mostly want the figures for the city to do other goofy stuff. I don't have the problem of taking Spider-Man and have him hang out in Lego Ninjago City. Sure. And so I like that's a lot of reason why I buy the Marvel stuff. Some of it because a lot of it isn't they're not houses they're other stuff. Right. But we're not talking Marvel right now. We've done that in other in just a recent episode. Just recent episode. Yeah. So gotta get off this Ninjago. Hey, like us on Facebook. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Built From Bricks. And then don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned each and every week for more fun episodes. What have you, you built, built today? today?